was Zavala Droga in, uh, in Oneida City Court. You spent a little time down there, uh, Manaski. I do have to say that um, I did not realize Matthew McConaughey was actually in the, in the audience at the court until I checked in with the OD app. This is not a picture that's in the paper, but it is in their, on their app this morning. And if you look carefully, you'll see Matthew McConaughey sitting there from True Detective uh, well, sitting there in the like uh, him, yeah. in the courtroom, that's who Zavala Droga looks like. I'm he telling does you, look like the little man. True Detective going on. He could be in an episode of True Detective, but he was found guilty. And uh, actually, it was Oneida City Oneida City Fire Department Deputy Chief Robert Cowles Jr. testified about the condition of the mother uh, when she was discovered lying in the woods, half naked, according to the Oneida Dispatch. The first thing that we noticed is she was missing clothing. She had no pants or socks or shoes. He said in court, she made some sounds but didn't really speak and kept curled tightly watching his crew with only her eyes. He said, according to the newspaper report, he also said that the woman was covered in dirt, sticks and filth, was cold and looked scared. One described her as uh, looking almost purple Um, and uh, he was found guilty yesterday. And we've had him. He's come to, to the studio several times. There seems to be something happening there, I think. And um, the sentencing will be coming down the road. Your thoughts on it? I, I would just agree. Yeah, I did have to make an appearance because he was on the show. So I just had to basically affirm that uh, that was. They had uh, they'd asked for the video. Yeah. And that that was Mr. Zavella, the Joga, yeah. who uh, was on the program with us. And uh, I had to make a couple trips down to a night of this week. So true detective. I'm just saying could be a bit of a future there. They're looking for some new people. Matthew McConaughey is not doing it. So I'm just saying uh, it is Memorial Day weekend and Mayor John Bialik of uh, New York Mills is on the line right now. If you recall last year, there was vandalism to a World War II uh, monument over there. Mayor, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Morning, Bill. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. And as we go good. into a very important weekend, what can you tell us about that, uh, that story from last year? Well, we uh, we certainly had a lot of response throughout the state. I, I received calls from Buffalo uh, to Albany. Uh, we had an extensive search for that eagle, and uh, quite honestly, we just couldn't recover it. So uh, this is a very big day. Uh, come Monday at eleven o'clock, we're going to have the rededication of that eagle and that monument uh, wow. in Veterans Park. That's awesome. And uh, were there contributions that led to this, or how did this all come to fruition? Well, there there was a lot of a uh, lot of outpouring. Everyone wanted to uh, help, uh, but uh, fortunately, we did have that eagle uh, insured, and uh, you know, okay. uh, basically, the eagle was replaced through uh, through insurance. I was really wondering if uh, if monuments could be insured, and yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, that's good news then. Will there be? Yeah, it was very good. Will there be any cameras or security surveillance um, in the devices future. put there in the future so that it may prevent the person or persons who took the eagle to begin with from doing uh, it again? Per- personally, I feel that that eagle should be placed on the monument, not even bolted down. It should be right. on your honor. And when you think about the sacrifices that these individuals have done for our freedom and our community. Uh, you know, it's really a, 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 it's a real crime. Yeah, we should not have to uh, treat it like it's a bicycle that we're chaining to a post so somebody doesn't take it. Right. I exactly. mean, this, Agreed. you know. Agreed. However. So, um, however, there are stupid people out there. They're, it, it, incredibly stupid people, Bill. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, it, it just floors you that, uh, you know, they just don't know. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's too bad. Well, they have the right to uh, get on their cell phones. They have the right to do all these different things. And it's what this monument represented that uh, they just completely take for granted, and it is uh, it is disgusting. But, hey, there's good news to follow, and Monday will be a special ceremony, and uh, we appreciate the update, Mayor. Well, thank you very much, Bill. You have a great weekend now. You do the same. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, Mayor uh, John Bialik in, uh, in New York Mills. Assemblyman Mark Butler standing by uh, with a bit of a response from yesterday. We were talking about the water issue, or two days ago, talking about the water issue. Yeah. Pat Besher was on. Assemblyman Mark Butler in response. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Bill. Thanks for having me. I saw that you, uh, I think we received the release that you're doing an event, or there is an event and you're going to be attending it at Hinkley tomorrow. And it's what, the landowners, the property owners out there? Yes, we've invited the landowners, property owners, anybody with an interest in what's happening on Hinkley. Uh, we're going to have a rally at 3 o'clock by the dam. 
you know, those of us who are concerned about this issue uh, were somewhat encouraged with, when we listened to the uh, interview that you had with Mr. Becher. He appeared to acknowledge, yes, there is a problem. Yes, we have to sit down and work it out. And yes, some of the concerns that have been expressed are valid. Uh, I took that as a very positive sign. I actually had an op-ed piece in the OD this week that, that you know, said just that. Uh, we don't think it's accomplished anything yelling back and forth. Let's sit down around the table. Let's identify the problem. Let's talk through it and solve it. I can't underscore how important Hinkley is to our future plans. Yeah. It, it's apparently going to be a major source for nanotechnology, and I continue to say, and, and all the evidence points to, Hinkley Lake, Hinkley Reservoir is very weather-dependent. It is not a stable source of supply. There are things we can do to, to ensure that, that it's managed better, but every time this happens, there's a little noise, and, oh, it's the power company. Oh, it's the canal corporation. Oh, we just didn't get enough rain, and then the next time it rains, the problem goes away. I have a sense that at this point, the property owners and people around the reservoir and the people on the West Canada have, have uh, reached the, uh, the the point where they're ready to take some action. So right. we're trying to organize that in a positive way, trying to uh, let's have a sit-down, get-together, let's identify the problem, and let's work toward a solution. All right, that's I will a- tell you. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have 30 seconds, but that's tomorrow at uh, what Three time? Three o'clock. Three right by the Hinkley Dam. Okay. Uh, and anybody is welcome to come. Uh, we think it'll be valuable for members of the media to get up there, to see the low levels of the Hinkley Reservoir for right. themselves. Uh, I think, uh, as they say, a picture's worth a thousand words, and, and I think they'll have plenty right. of, uh, of opportunities to, to show the, what the issues are. All there. right, that's tomorrow. At Hinkley, 3 o'clock tomorrow, and everybody's encouraged to go. Mark, thanks. Thanks for the update. Yeah. We appreciate the call. All right, thanks, Bill. Uh, Friday, May 27th, going into Memorial Day weekend. Carl Stockbridge in New Hartford celebrating today. Happy birthday. I'm sorry I'm late on these, but we've been loaded. Chris Main in Chittenango. Chris, happy birthday. Also, Joyce Cabant in Leonardsville. Denise Truchon Boric in Poland celebrating today. And the cake today goes to Jeff Manaski, who's celebrating a birthday today. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. That was good. I didn't even see that one coming. didn't see that coming. Ah, happy yeah. birthday, Jeff. Carl, course, I Carl don't Stockbridge yeah. will get the uh, cake, by the way, and uh, we're giving cocktails to Manaski. So, Carl, <laughs> happy birthday from the Florentine Pastry Shop and WIBX. Quick break.